Thank you very much. Uh, I, I, I do want to congratulate Shinya Yam Yamanaka and, of course, John Gurdon uh, for their amazing achievement. I do want to thank Deepak for putting this on with Shinya. Sandy, thank you very much for having us here. Nancy, you came on board and you took this to a whole new level. Thank you very much. And I, I would be remiss if I didn't recognize my board for the Roddenberry Foundation. Uh, Mort Kessler has been a family friend for many years, knew my father very well, has become somewhat of a father figure to me. And uh, without him, I know uh, the Roddenberry Foundation wouldn't exist. Andy Garb, he serves as a trustee for Gladstone Institute. And uh, he is also one of the board members, and he is also a very close family friend. And I, I have to give credit and recognize my dearest, loving, understanding, caring, patient wife, Heidi, who not only puts up with me, but of course is, is also a, a huge contributor to the Roddenberry Foundation. So uh, they are right here, and I, I just want to give them a round of applause, because we would not be here. The foundation wouldn't exist, and this symposium wouldn't exist without them. So thank you. Now, ladies and gentlemen, people of Earth, my fellow humans. I figured I can get away with that. The words live long and prosper have never really meant as much as they do here today at this international symposium on stem cell research. If my father had had the opportunity that I have had to walk through the hallways of Gladstone and look through the microscopes and see the IPS cells that could one day become uh, muscle tissue, heart valves, or even uh, a disease-free brain, uh, he would be so thrilled to meet the passionate scientists who are here, and they are truly, well, boldly going where no one has gone before. Now, in his stead, I can tell you that I am equally thrilled to bear witness to this next generation of cellular reprogramming. Now, Star Trek was an iconic science fiction TV show to some, but to others, it was far more than just entertainment. It showed us our human potential, and it showed us what the future could be. This was a future where we stopped fighting over our petty differences, where we no longer worked solely for the personal gain it showed a humanity working together for the greater good of all life. Now, your presence here and your commitment today to this symposium shows a willingness to collaborate and share. And in my opinion, that's what will make the future that my father envisioned a reality. For over 45 years, the Roddenberry name has encouraged people to think, question, and challenge the status quo in the world in which we live. That philosophy is the underpinning of the work done at the Roddenberry Center for Stem Cell Biology and Medicine. And it is the reason why the Roddenberry Foundation supports the work done at Gladstone. Now, our primary objective at the Roddenberry Foundation is to honor my father's legacy by funding game-changing advancements that expand new frontiers for the benefit of humanity. The cutting edge research done at the Roddenberry Stem Cell Center and in your own labs is emblematic of the kind of medicine and future that my father envisioned. And that is something the Roddenberry Foundation is proud to be a part of. So I'd really like to start by congratulating all the scientists in the room and, and beyond that, everyone in this room who has dedicated themselves to this field of study for continuing to inspire and inform these critical biomedical advances. And as you continue your voyage to seek out new life, know that your mission truly gives me and countless others hope for the future. Thank you for the work that you've done. Thank you for your willingness to collaborate and share. And thank you for all the amazing discoveries that are yet to come. May you all live long and prosper. Thank you. <laughs>